Hello and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil Director's Cut on the Sony PlayStation. Um, I'm going to be doing this on advanced mode, um, and that means it's generally harder than the original game. Um, the items and enemy placements have been moved around a bit. Capcom. Virgin Interactive. Okay, the title screen is just coming. Resident Evil Director's Cut. Capcom Co. Limited, 1996-1997, all rights reserved. Okay, press any button. New game, of course. Okay, um... The standard mode, I'm pretty sure that's the same as the original game, although there might be a couple of minor differences. I can't remember, though. Um... If I'm wrong about that, just leave a comment, because I can't remember. Anyway, so I'm pretty sure that's just the normal game, uh, like in the uh, last playthrough I did. Um, training, uh, that's easy mode. Um, now, the ammo and ink ribbon pickups, um, they're doubled in this. So every time you pick up some handgun ammo, for example, uh, the number you get is doubled, and that goes for ink ribbons as well. Um, so that's interesting. Um, I think also the amount of damage the enemies do is is halved or reduced or something. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much just easy mode. Um, advanced mode, yeah. Um, the items and everything, um, yeah, the items and enemy placements have been moved around a bit. Um, you might have to bear with me while I search for some of the items because I haven't done this in a while. Um, I'm really used to the normal game, really, so I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, it's been yeah, it's been a few years or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so let's do advanced mode. And like before, we're going to be starting with Chris Redfield. Here we go. Nineteen ninety eight, July, Raccoon Forest. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why.
only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. They have escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe. Yet. I don't know what happened. Barry, where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably. No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. <clears throat> oh yeah. I forgot to mention that the uh, uh, that the costumes have been changed, but you can change them back by going into the costume room, which I think is already unlocked. Anyway, if we go back outside, this happens. Investigate if you hear any gunfire. Okay, here we go. Okay, now notice uh, that the emblem isn't here now. There's a hollow space beneath the shield. Yeah, so we have to find the uh, the normal emblem in another place, which is annoying. Okay. Hello, old friend. Again, why do you want to eat me when you already have a fresh meal? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, here he is. Right, uh, like before, I'll avoid him and then uh, then run past him to get the uh, the handgun rounds that he's that the, that the dead body uh, has. Um, looks like they didn't. Um, I don't think they. I don't think they removed uh, the glitch where he walks against the wall. Yeah, if if you hug the wall, then he's more likely to walk against it. Um, he's Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Okay, give me those bullets. Yes, there's one clip. Is there another? Yep. There's another. Any more? No, that's it. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Yep. That's the wrong way, mate. Where is he? Ah, there he is. Where are you going, bud? Uh, I'm out of here. Right. See you later. Right. Yeah, so they didn't remove the glitch where they walk against the wall if you hug the wall and then you can just get past them. So, so uh, that's always useful in this game. Uh, yep. Wesker? Jill? What 
happened to Jill and Wesker? Okay, as usual, get Jill's um, handgun. Oh yeah, um, it's Jill's gun. Now, one thing that I did forget to mention, or, or another thing I forgot to mention, is that in in the advanced game, at least, I can't remember if it's a, if it's in the standard game. I'm assuming it isn't, but in the advanced game, uh, uh, the handgun has changed. Um, it now has. Um, now has a random chance of getting a headshot with the enemies which is also uh, which is really good also for another reason because there's another thing i forgot to mention um, some of the zombies will be speedy zombies like the iron resident evil 3 um, i think it's i don't know if it's random which ones are or whether they're predetermined i can't remember but some of the zombies are speedy um, but with this gun there's a random chance of getting a headshot so um, it sort of balances out, but I can't remember if that occurs in the standard game. I'm assuming it doesn't, but if I'm wrong, just leave a comment and tell me, because I really can't remember. Yeah, so we now have uh, the Beretta. Let's go and uh, let's go and check that. There we go, pause button. I always forget it's the pause button that, that gets the options up in this, uh, that gets the menu up in this game. Anyways, let's have a check of this. Um, a Beretta M92FS Automatic Custom Edition. Yeah, this is the Custom Edition, not like the one in the uh, in the previous game, or rather in the normal Resident Evil 1. So, the, yeah, this is the one that can sometimes get a headshot. Yeah, so, really handy. Okay, let's equip it. Now, I'm pretty sure there's still a an ink ribbon over near the typewriter. Let's nab that if we can. Yeah. Yeah, so in the, in the training mode, this would give us, I think, six ink ribbons. And the handgun bullets would give us uh, 30 every time, as opposed to the, fifth, uh, the 15 they give. Anyway, yeah, um, like before, as Chris, we need the, uh, the sword key, because um, yeah, cause Chris doesn't have the lockpick like Jill, so... Alright, yeah, so I'm going to make these videos half an hour long, roughly, like before. Oh yeah, some of the, um, some of the camera angles have changed as well, which is quite interesting. Right, um, yeah, his camera angle has changed, so that's another difference as well. Again, I can't remember if it's the, if if the camera angles have also changed in in the standard game. So if if you leave a comment, I'll be really interested because I don't normally play the standard game with this because I normally do the standard game with the the normal game. Um, I only do the advanced mode with Resident Evil Director's Cut because you know that's what it's for, really. Okay, it's a map of first floor. Will you take it? Yes, you got the map of first floor. Good. All right, now there should be another ink ribbon in here. I can't remember if, if that corpse is still in here that comes alive. Uh, let's find out. All right, there's another corpse there, so that's a bit different. I uh, don't think we're going to be able to make it past him without uh, without touching him. So, um, what should I do? Should I waste some bullets? I know. I'll knife him, because I have the knife on me. I'll knife him. And then, oh yeah, there's also in the, another thing I forgot to mention about the advanced mode. I, I don't know, um, again, I don't know if it's in the standard mode in this game as well, but um, they've also put auto-aim on, see, like this. If I just aim with the knife, it aims like that. Yep, aim down. Am I able, able, able to do that? Oh, there we go. Walk forward a bit. No. Nope. Little. Ah, oh, damn it. Yes. Oh, well, that answers that one. That answers that one for me. I won't be able to. And that's put me on. Yeah. And also, the enemies do more damage on advanced mode. I, I keep forgetting about these things. Yeah. So it's put me on yellow fine. Just that. Whereas if if you remember on the uh, normal game, that wouldn't have put me on yellow fine. That happening. I think so. Yeah, so I was intending just to wake him up and then um, um, and then just use the gun on him, but I tried to knife him without wasting a bullet, but it wouldn't work anyway. So yeah, just try not to touch his head. I think someone told me that. I think it was um, I can't remember who it was, but someone told me that uh, it only sort of um, you only sort of make them come alive by walking over over them if you walk over their head. So try to avoid their head uh, when you walk over them. There we go, it's another ink ribbon in there. But yeah, so I, I completely forgot about that uh, uh, the other enemy there. So 
which is annoying but yeah so the major differences are of course the item locations are different the enemy locations are different and sometimes there are more enemies uh, the enemies do more damage and the, the, sometimes there are, there are speedy zombies and the handgun can sometimes get a uh, can sometimes get a headshot so that's the the major differences between advanced mode and uh, and the standard mode I think and we still need the the sword key I think some of the the door key uh, uh, some of the doors have changed location like some doors will need a different key maybe I, I don't know I guess I'll find out but it's been so long since I did this um, yeah, I, I suppose we're going upstairs now, aren't we? Because that door's inevitably going to be locked with the... What is it? The helmet key or what? No, it's armour. This one's the armour key. Yeah, I haven't done this for so long. I, I think that was the same as what it was in the normal game, actually. Right, let's go up the stairs and uh, let's go on the balcony bit and have a look at Forrest. Now, I can't remember if he comes alive. I think, he, yeah, in this version he comes alive. Whereas in the normal game he doesn't come alive, so we're going to have to kill him, I think, in this version. There's a small key in here, though, I think, still, hopefully. I don't know, I can't remember. This is a, yeah, I suppose you could, uh, um, this isn't really a blind playthrough, this isn't, re isn't really a semi-blind playthrough. It's more like, um, this is more, more, more like a quarter-blind playthrough, because I haven't done the Director's Cut for so long. But I still remember certain things because it's, you know, it's not like I haven't done this before because I've done the normal game uh, recently. Anyway, so that's a small key. Um, I don't have a... Uh, that's annoying actually picking that up because I don't have a... Um, I don't have a uh, an item box yet, do I? Let's go all the way through there. What does this man have? He has a key, doesn't he? I'm going to have to... Oh, there's no point doing this because I can't go and pick it up yet because I don't have any item slots. Um, I'm going to have to go downstairs, go to, not go downstairs, go across the hallway and find an item box. That's a different camera angle if you notice. Yeah, I'm going to have to find an item box and then come back here because uh, I, um, I can't go in there yet because there will be something in there. This one needs the armor key, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they do change. Any, yep, there's one. Let's check out this random headshot. Come on, give me a headshot. No, it's being annoying. Yeah, there is a random chance of getting a headshot, or, uh, well, not really. It isn't really a headshot with the dogs, I suppose, or the other enemies, but. Well, I don't know, but it's a headshot when there's zombies, I suppose, because they have a head and it pops. Alright, he's finished. I right. hope he's finished, anyway, because I don't want to. I don't want to get bitten in the legs as much because, as you just saw, uh, uh, just one bite from that uh, zombie or whatever it was, just uh, three bites or whatever, just put me in yellow caution. Still armor? Yeah, still armor key, right. Oh no! Oh no! God, there's three of them! No, get off! Ah! Oh. Might have to use that first aid spray. Oh yes, good headshot. Blimey's put me in orange caution already. Blimey. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, a difficult game. Go on. Good. Right. Oh, did not expect one to be around the corner there. At least I've got two headshots. It's locked from inside. Oh, it's that one, isn't it? Uh, right. Um, right, we're going out here. Then we need that item box, don't we? All right. Uh, the, uh, the old herb book is still here, right? Let's nab that. Yeah, we know that. Uh, actually, I haven't read it in this place yet, have I? So I better read it in this one, hadn't I? Right, the botany book, yeah. Uh, the botany book about medicinal herbs. Uh, as you may know, there are many plants that have medis medical effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the raccoon mountains and give their outlines as examples of of those plants with medical properties each herb has different colors and different and different effects as medical plants the green one recovers physical strength the blue one ne neutralizes natural toxins while the red herb does not have any effect by itself now, the red herb is only effective when it is mixed with other herbs 
For example, if you mix this herb with a herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. And by adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines, but I'll leave the details in your hands, um, because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. Okay, so that's that. All right. um, anything else in here? Uh, anything about the lamp? Nothing uncommon. It's well arranged. Is there anything in the drawer, desk drawers? Nothing uncommon. Nothing uncommon. Okay, all right, let's go over here now. You unlocked it, good. Alright, it's where the zombies here. There's one there, let's kill him now. I knew we'd get back up again. Um, right, I would like to kill these. Yeah, go on him. Right, he's finished. Someone else getting up? I know you're alive, I saw your corpse move when the other one died, he moved you a bit. Oh, his arm's come off. Oh good, headshot. Right, okay. Um, right, there's another one, if you notice, there's another one over there. You can see him just sort of at the corner of him, behind the wall, but we'll deal with him later. Um, it's locked, carving of armour, right. Okay. Let's go down the apples and pears. Right, now we just need to uh, deposit some items. Now there might be some zombies down here, I can't remember. I'm assuming there are. Yep, yeah, there's one. Uh, one over here. Over here. Uh oh, no. Yeah, there's two of them. I was going to run past and I realised that there are two of them, so no point running past them. Alright. Don't give me a headshot. Oh, good. All right. Uh, running low on ammo though, so that one's alive. Let's deal with him. Right, another headshot. Right, he's definitely dead then. Can't reload the gun because I've run out of bullets. Right, good, a herb. I need that. Let's uh, deal with that herb later. Right. Righty ho. Right, let's uh, deposit some items. Another ribbon here. No, not yet. No, I won't. Good. Uh, should be some bullets in the. Uh, is there anything down here actually? Yeah, should be some bullets in the. Uh, in the item box. Oh yeah, the the broken shotgun is here. I remember that. Yeah. Um, let's just pick that up. Yeah, so we can get the shotgun. Well, we still can't get the shotgun until we get the armor key because the. Uh, now wait a minute. Oh no, we can because we do. Do we need the armor key for the shotgun? I can't remember. Uh, gardening tools, nothing useful. Now, the chemical is outside near where those dogs were, um, near where we found all those herbs in, in the normal game. I, um, I do remember that. The chemical is there this time. All right, let's dump some of this stuff away. Um, no, I don't need the knife because that's rubbish. Let's put that away for now. Uh, let's put the ink ribbon away for now. And let's get the clips. Let's put this away for now. We won't need that. Let's get the clips out. Um, whoops. No. What one am I doing? I want to get the other clip out, don't I? Yeah. Oh, it won't let me. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think it would let me do it, so I have to get them one by one. Anyway, so that's uh, some more handgun ammo. Uh, there's a herb out here. Might as well use that now. And I'm going to go back uh, uh, to see Forest on the... Uh, I think it's Forest, anyway, that's his name. Because there's a forest in the background. Anyway, uh, we're going to see what's his name. I think it's Forest in the on the balcony. Yeah, might as well use this now. Um, yeah, put me in yellow fine. That's not bad. Right. Um, yeah, so we're going to see Forest. Um, get his item. I'm pretty sure he comes alive. So I we'll have to put up with that. I'm afraid. Um, have to kill him. Right, the other zombie is still around around there, around the corner, but no, we don't need to deal with him yet. We'll just leave him there. Right, let's go and unlock this. Yep, good. All right, that's all unlocked now. All right. 
I got all the zombies in here, didn't I? So that's that sorted. That's armor key. That's the armor key as well. That's why I call this place the armor key corridor, because it needs the armor key. Um, right, we're going to see forest, aren't we? Right. Yeah, the annoying thing about Chris is, uh, like the uh, like the normal game, is he still only has six item slots, but he still yeah, he still takes more damage, even though I'm not making it look that way because um, we, I've taken a bit of damage. But he still takes more than uh, Jill. Anyway, I hope this blood isn't from my teammates. Dot dot dot. Ellipsis, whatever you want to call it. Right. Alright. Yep. Oh no, he's alive. Yep, here's Forrest and he's alive. So we're gonna have to take care of him if we want that key. Come on in, Forrest. Yep. You're going against the wall, mate. Headshot. No. Nope. Wait for him to come alive again. <clears throat> Come on. The auto aim is handy though. I think he's dead now, but if he Ah oh, he wasn't dead. Ah oh, get off. Ah oh, hate that. He wasn't dead. It's put me back in orange caution, hasn't it? Yep. Will you take the mansion key? Yes I will. It's really annoying that bloody forest not being dead. Alright, um right, we have thirty two bullets and let's check the mansion key to make it so that it's the Sword key, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, it's no, it's the armor key. Yeah, it's carving of armor. Yeah, it's the armor key is the first one we get. All right, all right. That's uh, that's uh, that's in the forest. That's annoying, actually. I was hoping to run past him at least, and then get the key, and then run away before he, if he were still alive, to, uh, to escape that before he got up again. But ah, uh, it's annoying. Never mind. No, right. it's done now. It's done now. Alright, so where are we off to now? Now we have the now that we have the armor key, we can sort some stuff out with the armor key. Um, um, let's go and do that. Uh, I can push that th uh, the statue off, kind of, but I can't be bothered to do that yet. I'll do that next time. Uh, there's a herb in here or something, isn't there? Oh no, wait, no. If we go in here, we're going to trigger Rebecca, aren't we, or something, aren't we? I don't want to do that because that means I'll have to go and. Um, yeah, I don't want to do that yet, because that might trigger Rebecca. I really can't be bothered with that yet. Right. Yeah, because... If you go in there before... I don't want to do that this time. If you go in there before you go in the other save room, then there's Rebecca in there, and then you have to get the, the, and then you have to get the serum um, for whatever his name is. Um, uh, I can't remember his name. But, um, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll do that later. Um, I, I'll, I'll go in that room after I've gone in the save room, because then it means um, Rebecca won't be in there. So what is his, is his name? No, it, it, no it, it's completely gone. Completely gone. I'll find out next time, I imagine. Alright, let's do this, uh, uh, this puzzle again. I can't remember what we get in here this time. Alright, I hope that's right. This one's the easy one because it's already lined up, uh, so you just have to push it forward. The other one you have to push it in two directions, this one you only have to push it in one. And it's easier to see that you're covering it. I think I might just push this, yeah, slightly more to the right than it is to the left. No, nope, a bit longer, there we go. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Oh yeah, we need to press the switch, don't we? There's a switch, will you push it? Yes. Are we successful? And we were good. Um, don't forget, uh, like I said last time, you can still accidentally push the uh, the statues, and if you push the statues, uh, the gas will come out. So uh, be careful not to push the statues by accident. Uh, right, here's the emblem. Uh, but we still can't put that in the thing because we need to do the piano puzzle first and that that's just the emblem uh, just to get that then we need the gold emblem to you know we just made it more convoluted really but yeah that's the emblem so we can we can do that now uh where am i going this way i'm going to go in uh, to the save room now and save it because half an hour is up it 
it's over here, isn't it? The thing. Yep. Um, in the next video, I'll be uh, exploring the mansion further. So, as always, um, Mr. Zombie's still there. So we're, we'll only deal with him when we need to. We don't need to deal with him yet. Let's go and put the emblem away. We don't need that yet. Um, yeah, get the ink ribbon out. And that's that. I mean, um, I'm an orange caution. It's not too bad. It could be worse. But save your progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? Yes, I will. Right. Are there any save slots? Too many files, right? Um, and too many files. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Um, okay. Um, stand by. I'm going to. I'm going to pause the video, and when I come back, there will uh, there will be some files available. So, stand by. Okay, I made some free slots. Uh, they're on memory card two. And um, there are five of them. Um, I effectively just deleted uh, the save slots for um, uh, the normal version of Resident Evil. So. Okay, brilliant. So, um, thank you for watching, and I hope you can join me for part two. Goodbye.